so we'll start the second program in our list i am subhra chakraborty department of telecommunication sir mbit assistant professor so the second program is assembly language program to convert vcd number into ascii so ascii full form is american standard code for information interchange so basically what we have to do here in this program the inputs will be in form of bcd number we know bcd numbers are simple digit between 0 to 9 so i have shown here shared one screen with respect to this table so it is showing 0 and whenever conversion will take place at the end in form of output we will get the hexadecimal equivalent of that ascii character so basically output of ascii numbers or in output in form of ascii numbers it will be displayed in form of hexadecimal values as for example if i give input as 0 so it should be representing 30 1 as 31 similarly 9 as 39 so these are the hexadecimal uh, these are the bcd numbers available so 0 to 9 so ascii output equivalent in form of hexadecimal it will be between 30 to 39 Uh, you can refer this table so hence but what will happen in form of 8051 microcontroller we have 8 bit data so one digit in as in bcd it is it requires four uh, four binary bits so hence 8 bit means we need uh, uh, we can accommodate two bcd digit so basically in that case with respect to 8051 we can take a bcd input in form of 00 to 99 so we can uh, show for this program also hence we are taking the input in form of 00 to 99 anything in between that and we are going to represent the ascii equivalent hexadecimal equivalent of that ascii number so so how it will be like if i am taking 99 so the output location it is going to display 39 one location then next location 39 so i am taking one uh, external memory location like 90 uh, 9000h so 9000h it will display the first digit and 9001 uh, location it will display that second digit like that so one location it will uh, it will display 39 another location it will display 39 and whatever the input i am directly going to load in my program to the register so what is the use of this type of code conversion or ascii code basically i have written also it is a character encoding standard so that is used for the communication or electronic communication so basically it is this code is used for the character encoding purpose whenever communication takes place so anyhow let us see how it is anyhow in basic uh, first uh, program we have seen the complete steps so i am not going to display the complete steps directly we are going to start with the program so i have the program code so if program code is available so what we can do we can directly copy if so hence this program code i am directly going to copy and we are going to use in kill software so let us see how it happens so i'll open the kill already it is available with me i'll open the kill so uh, what i am going to do i am going to open a new editor window so this editor window i am going to copy the text that is nothing but this program and also as you have seen or as you are habituated with this so this option is always available so how we have done this uh, uh, copy the uh, before starting the program you can include the initial lines like org uh, and all so that is not compulsory it is but it is a good practice so always it is it is possible or it is it is good practice to add those lines like starting the program from the initial location and uh, bypassing the program to some other rom location and start uh, saving the program from there so first step uh, this the uh, writing the program in editor window then we can save it so <coughs> i am using the same uh, project whatever we have created in the last program so what is the next step? once we have loaded this program so we can save it 
with uh, is the in the same location that is a document uh, in form of asm extension so let me give the name of the file is vcd dot asm and save it so on a, once i have saved what i have to do next i have to add to the source group add existing file to the group so what is the file same file i will add bcd so it is available add then close it is added you can see now once it is added i can i can verify the error channel what i'll do i'll build target i'll do build target and also rebuild target so you can see below there is no delay uh, there is no error in this so so the program is now ready to execute so what is the program is now so if i see line by line first three lines are optional anyhow it is always available so no need to tell the third line i have taken an input in form of uh, 89h so in form of 89 so basically this 89 whatever the number it is my input so this number i am going to convert in form of ascii so so my final output uh, as we have seen in this uh, final output as we have seen here it should be displayed like this so 89 89 means 8 and 9 two digit so we'll take uh, we'll take 8 one digit will convert this uh, 8 bcd number to ascii equivalent of that so it will become 38 and next location so that is 9000 location and another number another digit that is 9 uh, that is the lsb digit that also should be converted in form of hexadecimal ascii equivalent hexadecimal equivalent of the ascii number and it should be stored in the output next output location 39 so if it is 89 my output should be 38 that is for msb digit in 9008 location 9000 location and 39 uh, in the next location 9001 so let us see how it is now this program whatever i have written already it is debugged so now let us see the logic so first the number it is stored in this location and what i will do so basically this 89 the logic is like this this 89 number it consists of two digit that is lsb and msb least significant digit and uh, most significant digit i will separate both of them so what i'll do 89 i'll convert in two different uh, I, I, from 89 i'll convert i will separate 8 and 9 so 18 from 89 i'll generate two numbers one is 08 and another one is 09 how it is possible so what i'll do so as i am going to change this number that is stored in the input uh, location first in a location a register so i as i am going to separate i should have a copy so what i am going to do first program uh, for next uh, after loading the input next uh, line or next instruction i am going to take a copy of that to r not register so r not register is also 89 then what i am going to do i am using the swap instruction swap a what you will do the number it is there in uh, a, a register or accumulator it is 89 it will swap the nibbles so it will become 98 now what i am going to do as i am going to store the result final result to uh, external memory location uh, or memory location 9000 hexadecimal so i am going to and that should be accessed by dptr so i just initialize the dptr as 9000 then i am going to call a subroutine that will perform this operation that is that will perform the conversion so name of the subroutine is ascii a s c double i so i am going to call the subroutine so if i call this subroutine what will happen program flow will jump to that level ascii somewhere else so in that what i am going to do the number it is there in accumulator so accumulator the number is there uh, initially it was 89 so after swapping it is 98 so number it is there in accumulator is 98 so this 98 it is 9 and 8 i am going to perform and logical with 0f i am going to perform 
and logical with zero f. So it, this and logical operation basically it is b twice and logical operation. So if I if I perform with 98 that is there in accumulator uh, with zero f and logical, what will happen? And the lower lower byte, sorry, lower digit will be as it is, and upper digit will become zero. So 98. So in 98, it was 98. Now accumulator content will become 08 because upper nibble I am going to mask or I am going to make it zero as it is ended with zero f. So zero eight. So I have separated the lower digit. Then what I am going to do, and it is stored in accumulator. Then what I am going to do, I am going to add 30 H with that. Because difference between uh, the BCD and the hexadecimal equivalent of ASCII output is 30 H. So in accumulator now it is eight, it is going to add 30 and it is going to store in accumulator. So it will become 38. So then what will happen? Uh, this 38, I am going to send it to the location specified by the DPTR or indicated by the DPTR. So what will happen? First location that is nothing but 9000 9, address uh, output location, the accumulator content 38 will be 38 hexadecimal number will be moved. So next what I am going to do, I am in going to increment the DPTR. DPTR is indicating 9001 address and I am going to return from the subroutine. So return from the subroutine will take me the next of the call instruction wherever I have executed. So next of the call instruction in my main program is nothing but move A comma R naught. Now what is my R naught value? R naught value is my initial value whatever I have taken as an input. So it is it is 89. So 89 is copied to the accumulator now. Once it is copied to the accumulator, again I am going to call the same subroutine that is name with ASCII. So what will happen now? 89 in 89, it is there in accumulator. Now latest. Now I'll call to that subroutine. So it will jump to that location. It will perform accumulator content that is 89 with 0F again. So what will happen in that case? Again, if it is ended with 0f, 89 will become 09. Then again I am adding with a, that is 09 with 38, so it will become 39. Then I will move it to the address specified by the DPTR. Now as already it is incremented by 1, so DPTR is indicating the address that is 9001, so the next data or next output by it, that is 39, it is going to move to 9001 address and so then it will uh, so what will happen it will uh, again the maybe it will be incremented by one again and it will return so where it will return it will return to the next instruction after the it will return to the next instruction after the second call instruction so that is s jump dollar so s jump dollar it will what will happen s jump dollar simply it will what it will do it will just terminate the process or it will break the process or it will, it will break the execution of the program hence program will end so this is what it is happening so just i have uh, build the target rebuild the target let us see step by step how it is performing the operation so next step is debug. So this is the debug option or directly you can use the key from the keyboard that is control. Control option is there. So the control F5 you can press. So debug, what will happen? So I am going to, I am going to display the output in 9000 uh, H address and 9001 H address and it is external address. So I am going to identify or already I have opened the memory window and I have specified that external address with x colon 9000 h address so it is going to display so what I will do I have two options I can run it all together with f5 or I can run it step by step what happened f11 so how it happens what happens in case so let us see f11 if I am running so let me open the register window also how it changed. So I have taken the input, uh, input to the accumulator is 89 hexadecimal. Then swapping will take place. A will become 98. Next, 
DPTR is initialized 9000. Then we are calling the subroutine uh, that is uh, a call ASCII. So you can see directly jump, take, jump operation takes place to that particular location wherever we have mentioned the level and it will perform the AND logical operation with A value. Now A value is equal to 98. It will perform AND logical operation. If it is performing AND logical operation with 0F, it will become immediately 08. Then what will happen? Next instruction, it will add 38, 30. So A become immediately 38. Then what will happen? Uh, this uh, uh, 38 should be moved to the address specified this. So what will happen now? What will happen? This I can see now this editor win if I go to this uh, memory window, memory window I can see first location now 9000 address 38 is available. Now still execution is text execution will take place again if I click on that next step. So what will happen? Program counter will be loaded or incremented by one that is 9001 and return will take place. So program flow again you can see sufficient change program flow will jump to the next to the first call. So what will happen next instruction is move a comma r not. So r not content will be moved to the accumulator. Accumulator has become now the whatever the input we have taken that is 89. Then what will happen again it will call the second uh, uh, second time the same subroutine ASCII. What will happen again program flow will go there. So 89 now it is there in accumulator. It will be ended with logically ended with 0F. So it should become as 09. If I click on that now you can see directly accumulator became accumulator content became 09. And now next instruction is the address specified by the DPTR is 9001. If I click on that, so that address data. So now it is indicating this address. So this address data should move. So again, next click. So what will happen? The address data has moved. So now I can see the next location in memory window that is 9001. I am getting the second byte of the output that is 39. H. Next, what will happen if I keep on executing again? Uh, stack uh, again by the help of this uh, DPTR uh, increment DPTR, it will become uh, 9002 and it will return. And now, it, if it is executing S jump dollar, termination will take place. So, S jump dollar means permanently it will be there in that particular line, and program flow will terminate, or program program flow will end, or it can be considered as a termination of the program. So that's all. So this is what it is happening whenever we are converting the ASCII code. Uh, whenever we are converting the BCD to ASCII. So basically, what will happen? The difference, the re result is displayed in form of hexadecimal equivalent of the ASCII. And as I have shown you the table again, just before stopping, I'll show you the table again. So what I have done, I have taken the number 89. So eight stands for 38 and nine stands for 39. So I am going, I, I am getting the output in form of, uh, I am getting the in form of 38 and 39. So that is why in the output window, I am getting the output in form of 38, that is for eight PCD number and 39, that is for nine. So this is the total explanation of the program number two, that is program number two, according to this list, it is BCD to ASCII code conversion. Thank you.